holidays are hectic enough for most folks, and with COVID-19 pushing around the NFL betting schedule, the Washington football team finds itself on the road for the second time this week when it visits the Dallas Cowboys for Sunday Night Football. These are my picks and predictions for tonight's primetime finale. Dallas is laying 10 points in its first home game in a month, and giving Washington schedule crunch and injuries on both sides of the ball, you definitely want to grab Dallas at the key number before a move to minus 10 and a half, which could show up here Sunday night. The Cowboys have all the firepower on both sides of the ball to cover this bulky spread. A talent-rich passing game continues to drag its toes, but this could be the get-right game for Dak Prescott. Washington ranks 27th in pass defense DVOA at Football Outsiders, and that's before you factor in a depleted secondary missing some key pieces and, of course, playing their second game in six days. The Cowboys are a dynamic offense that can move the chains through the air and on the ground with the second fastest offensive tempo in the league, calling a play every 26.34 seconds. That's going to drain Washington. Give me Dallas minus 10. As for the total, Washington hasn't been able to crack the 20-point plateau in its last four outings and could take the field Sunday with two of its top weapons in running back Antonio Gibson and wide receiver Curtis Samuel questionable. That's bad news against the Dallas defense. That has been the star of the show for America's team the last month. Dallas ranks number one in EPA allowed per play since week 13. It's a bit of a soft slate due to that level of opposition, offensive opposition during that span. However, we just can't deny this revitalized pass rush with defensive ends Randy Gregory and Demarcus Lawrence back, as well as that chaos-causing secondary that continues to turn teams over. So we're going to go under 46.5 points here. As for some props to play on Sunday Night Football, I like that. Prescott to pass for more than two and a half touchdowns, which is paying out at a healthy plus 185. There's also a lot of pressure to get this passing game right. Before the postseason, and Dak has thrown 16 of his 25 total TDs inside Jerry's world. Also, look for Amari Cooper to be on the receiving end of one of those scores as the star wide receiver voiced his frustrations with the air attack this week. That's a plus 160 payout on Amari's TD prop. So for my full Sunday Night Football analysis, visit Covers.com and follow us on Twitter at Covers. Good luck.